Ah, they're at it again. Since last week's video, I'm sure you saw the video that Man United uploaded on all their official channels of Sir Alex Ferguson basically thanking all the staff at the hospitals and saying that he's going to be back at Old Trafford later on in the season. It's so good to see the boss there looking happy, well, healthy and raring to go for the new season. I can't wait to see him back at Old Trafford as well. Not so good on the pitch, of course. We lost 4-1 to Liverpool, 4-1 to the Scousers. Uh, a lot of people getting far too overexcited, over-exaggerating everything. Always those fans that get far too overexcited after a pre-season result, isn't there? That is everything! Everything! Can confirm, Ross Kemp has returned. <clears throat> Tell you what, we're employing some weird training methods this summer. This reminds me of being back in school in year five and having debates with my mate about how many of us it would actually take to beat Man United. If we got the whole of our year five year, I reckon we could do it. We could beat Man United. We could have beat City back then anyway. So this summer, our king of social media has been Chris Morlin. He has been uploading some A-star gold stuff online. Let's see what he's uploaded this week. Hi, I'm Chris Morlin for Peter. Anyone who knows me knows how much my dogs Reuben and Miley mean to me. Please, if you see a dog, a child, or anyone trapped inside a hot car, search for the vehicle's owner, and if you can't find the right person quickly, notify authorities. Don't leave the scene until help arrives. Be your dog's biggest defender. Never leave them in a parked car, even for a minute. Keep them cool, you'll be glad you did. Hang on a minute, that's not funny. It's about dying dogs. No, right, but seriously, if you leave your dog in a hot car, you're a knob. I agree with Chris. So it turns out this week, dogs aren't the only ones suffering in the heat. Now, that is what you call a segue. Uh, check some of these back pages about Jose Mourinho. So, full meltdown is underway, if you believe the press. Um, I'm sort of in two minds about this. Like, on one hand, there's no smoke without fire, and Mourinho has been saying some pretty odd stuff in press conferences recently. On the other hand, a lot of these articles are written by the same person which I find a little bit sketchy. And also, we do know in the past, the press has maybe at times had a little bit of an agenda against Jose. Oh, maybe that's creeping in a little bit here ahead of the new season. Hopefully, we'll be looking back and we'll just be laughing at all these articles. Dogs locked in cars and press agendas. It's all getting a little bit heavy, isn't it, this video? Let's see what Eric's been up to. Cantona says, ask the sun. Omar says, yo, son, what's wrong with Eric? It's the question on everyone's lips, to be honest. <laughs> you wouldn't have him any other way, though, would you? Honestly, he consistently smashes it. I always think, like, there's nothing that Evera can do that will surprise me. And then he does something like this. Swimming with a pig! And honestly, you think, like, you're not going to top that video. Maybe Rio has done with this comment. <laughs> you know, I once got thrown out of French class in year nine because I had a yellow t-shirt on underneath my school shirt that said, Anderson is my homeboy. True story. Never forgive you for that, Mr. Roush. I'm sure you've seen the video over the last few days of the new innovation, which could be coming to the MLS soon. Uh, so they were talking to Brad Guzan, goalkeeper, while he was actually playing. It's in an MLS All-Star game. And he was talking to the commentators, had a little mouthpiece on, while he was actually playing the game. This could be massive for the future of football. I'm joking. It would be the absolute worst idea ever oh, if they God. were to put this into the Premier League. Which, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They're only doing it because it's a, it's a meaningless friendly, essentially. But the sport of football has to come before the technology. And before adjusting the sport to make it acceptable for TV. Would be quite funny, though. Could you imagine if you could hear, I don't know... Loris Carrius during a game. I don't get what they do on friendlies. I, honestly, the manager could come on and start tackling players in friendly games. I don't give a f Honestly, just don't do it in the proper games. So yeah, back to Man United on the pitch. Did beat Real Madrid 2-1. Always those fans that get overexcited over pre-season results, isn't there? That is everything. Everything. Alexis Sanchez, uh, I think he's performed quite well this pre-season, even though his mind's been elsewhere. He's been worrying about his dogs. He's been missing them greatly. Never leave them in a parked car, even for a minute. Fred made his first start against Real Madrid. He played quite well, so obviously now he's the best midfielder in the world because he had a decent game in a friendly. <laughs> he did play well, though. Well done, Fred. 
Obviously, one of the biggest stories this week has been Martial and his baby. Can you imagine explaining to this kid growing up that he was part of like a big, massive cross-Atlantic transfer saga? It's so weird. It's so, I honestly think it's all being blown out of proportion. Congratulations, of course, though, to Tony and all his family on the new arrival. So the squad have left the US now, they're returning back to Manchester and obviously we did have to squeeze in one more celebrity appearance at the training ground before they left. He's everywhere him, isn't he? Seriously. Bring back Gary Oldman, that's what I say. All is forgiven, Gary. And yeah, while the rest of the squad are hard at work, here's Marcus Rojo playing Fortnite with Otamendi. I, I ate that Fortnite, me. I did give it a go, but there's only so many times I can get killed by 12 year olds. <laughs> Eric Bailey here looks like he's attempted the Akiki challenge. Yeah, that's right. Pop culture references on point in these videos. I know what I'm talking about. I'm down with the kids. What they do is they get out the car, like this Drake song playing, and they like someone drives along with the door open and they dance. Can you genuinely imagine Eric Bailey knocking on the door and just being like, look, guys, we need to sign Yerry Mina. And the board are just like, yeah, right, okay, why? Why do we need to sign Yerry Mina? He's like, Let's look, Sir Henry 750 told me on Instagram, needs to happen. So Rashford, Lukaku and Phil Jones are all returning early from their holidays. Marcus Rashford says, you are what it says on the shirt. Maybe one day, I hope Marcus Rashford does become an icon. I really do. Precious Lingard says, hate to be that mum, but tie your laces. How do they even stay on? That's what I want to know. How do they not just fall off? I know what I'm talking about. I'm down with the kids. Some of the players, though, still very much in holiday mode. <laughs> Love it. What do you reckon he's singing? I am going to go for somewhere over the rainbow or when I'm cleaning windows. I like to imagine that it's when I'm cleaning windows. Pop culture references on point in these videos. It's been great to see some of the players get involved with some of the local culture as well while on their holidays this summer. <laughs> Is Romelu Lukaku in the future president of the United States office as well. And of course, we have to talk about this. An article written on Fred titled, Man United new boy Fred arrives in England with three, in capitals, large suitcases after returning from their pre-season tour of the US. A lot of problems with this, right? I, I don't care how many suitcases he has. It literally doesn't mean anything. Secondly, only one of those suitcases is a big suitcase. The rest of them are normal sized suitcases. He has one large one. What has happened to journalism in this country? <laughs> it's good that Man United are back in a European time zone though. Look at what these midnight games have done to Statman Dave. And we'll see you next time on <laughs> Full Times Devil. F can't believe. <laughs> last time, last time we did a, a debate, he tweeted me saying, Gaz didn't do a good job. It's been a while since we had a campaign on this week at Man United, isn't there? Uh, I thought about this. It's been a long time since Phil Jones actually posted anything on Instagram. 410 days since he posted. Bring back Phil Jones on Instagram. I want to see some Phil Jones selfies. And in the world of wags, Sam Smalling is asking, what would you like to see on my page? I think it's pretty obvious, Sam. More of your husband! Nah, nah. Anything funny, daft, ridiculous that you see online surrounding Man United, make sure you send it in to us so we can include it on next week's This Week at Man United. Use the hashtag Twaman. Get Full Time Devils on Twitter at Full Time Devils. Me personally too, at Radio underscore Gaz. And I'll catch you next time. Right, see you in a bit. Laters. I need to wake up. I need to wake up. Tell you what, that, that's going right at the top of my CV, that. The mank Danny Dyer. How do you even do that floss dance? All kids do the floss dance. I love that. I, uh, I, that sounds like I'm talking about dogs I find attractive. <laughs> right, there's so much wrong with that. Oh, mate, we could have brought my ukulele in. Yes. Oh, yeah, great. Boo! Woo!